welcome back to Miss Jean's classroom. I'm so glad you're here today. And you'll start to notice things that I've been doing to be a little more creative and draw you into the classroom more and do things that are pretty special. All right, the other day, I got to read How to Hug. And it's a great book. And that was part one. Now I'm bringing you part two. This one's really great. Look at those big hands I have. This is how to mail a hug. So, you know, now we're kind of far away from our grandmas and our grandpas and all those other people that we can't see all the time because we're social distancing. And I thought it would be kind of special to mail a hug. After we read how to hug, why not mail a hug? I saw this activity somewhere, so it was pretty special to me, and I thought, well, you know what? I'm gonna mail this to my daughter who lives in Seattle, and maybe she'll get it soon. But it's so simple. So, hope you enjoy this. First, we're gonna do our breathing, but I brought something different because you see my big old hands over here? Look at them, there they are. I thought we'd calm down with taking five breaths. Ready? It's really easy. Do it with your moms, do it with your sisters, your brothers, your dads, anybody that you think. And you can share it with your grandma and your grandpas if that's where you're gonna send these hugs. We're gonna breathe. How was that? Did that feel really good? felt pretty good to me. Well, this is what we're gonna do. And with your mom and dad's permission, make sure you're doing this with their permission. You're going to take some paper towels, simple paper towels. That's the easiest, but you can also tape pieces of paper together too. So it's up to you. But I decided to count one, two, three, four, five paper towels. Then, because this has happened to me before, I put a piece of cardboard or something underneath my paper towels so that my pens don't leak through my markers or whatever I'm using. And then I put my paper towels on the cardboard. Look at that, can you see that? Then I got out my markers and I decided I'd trace my hand first. And you know what was kind of hard was doing this hand over here. So I decided, because I'm right-handed, that I would take my hand and put it upside down and trace over my hand, just like that. It's one hand, and look, I'm gonna come over to the other side of my paper and do the second hand. Look at that, coming over here. And you know why I'm doing this? I decided that's where the breathing came up with. I thought, let me breathe while I'm doing this. Look at that, I have two hands. Pretty special there. Then I came over and I decided I'd make my face. I started with my hair and then I thought, you know what? I need a bottom to my face. So I put my bottom of my face and my neck and my hair is brown. My eyes are green. My nose is there. My lips are red and I put a big smile on there. And over in this corner, this might be a little hard to see, but let me bring it in a little bit better. I decided to put a window in the background. Look, I put bluebirds, redbirds, and I even put a sun up in the corner. Look at that. I thought this would be cheerful and make somebody happy. I liked what it came out to, and I hope you guys can do this too, because it's really easy, but it's fun. And your grandma and your grandpa would probably like to see this. 
So then I got my big paper. And I also wrote that down for them so that my daughter could do her breathing. So it was all good. So we finally got to do all that. And it was special. And I hope she likes it. And I got a big envelope. And I took the one that I drew and I folded up my paper towel just like this. That's why paper towels are kind of easy because they fold up. And the first thing they see, I got a big envelope. I put it in. I'm gonna put the address where I wanna send it. I'm gonna put a stamp on it. And I'm gonna mail it. And then I put also, and your mom and dads can help you with a little note too. I actually just put a little heart in there and said, I miss you. So, I hope you want to mail a hug. Read my part one, how to hug. Go to part two, how to mail a hug. It's pretty special. When they open that up, they're gonna say, yay, I miss my little granddaughter or grandson. So, I hope you enjoyed this today and have a great day. And keep breathing, keep smiling, using your calm cream. All those special things that Miss Jean's trying to teach you. But you'll love this and they'll love it. Thanks for visiting me today.